Before we get into today's video, I do want to let you guys know that this video is for educational purposes only. Please remember to be kind to everybody everywhere in your everyday life, in your home, in the grocery store, and especially in the comment section down below. Please do not show hate to anybody, anywhere. Good morning, my lovelies, my beauties, my friends. My name is Christina and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for clicking on this video. I really hope that you will subscribe, stick around, take a chance, and hearing some things that I have to say. And if you are a returning subscriber, y'all already know, y'all are my babies. So good morning, good morning, good morning. How is everybody doing today? I hope you all are having an amazing day. I hope you all had a wonderful weekend. Hope everybody got outside and got some sunshine, took your shoes off, walked around in the grass and the sand, something, something. Yes, I know every single person did. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about a case that was pretty big here this year over in Germany. Now everything is being translated from a different language to over here. So I'm gonna do the best that I can with pronunciations and the information that we have that's very, very, very public. Now listen, Y'all go do your own research, form your own opinions. However, I want to know y'all's opinions about this case because I'm going to tell y'all the story and then we're going to talk about my opinions at the end like we always do. But I really, when y'all listen to this, I want y'all to put y'all selves in the young lady who we're going to be talking about mainly, Sharaban. I want y'all to put y'all selves in her shoes and tell me what in the world you think she was thinking. Because I'm telling y'all what, for the life of me, I cannot figure out why she thought that this was a good idea. So let's just talk about it. We're going to start this story back in August of last year of 2022. In August of 2022, German parents thought the worst case scenario was happening when their daughter, Sharaban, did not return home one evening. Their daughter, Sharaban K, is a 24-year-old German-Iraqi woman who was a beauty blogger. She also come from what is said to be a very religious traditional in whatever their religion is. I'm not sure. I could not find exactly what the religion is. It just says the articles I've seen saw, said religious, very traditional, strong values and beliefs. And so Sharaban, who's also married to a young man. Now it is said that Sharaban was having issues with her husband. They were kind of on again, off again, but Sharaban did not want to tell her family because of their views and their background. And she actually had a little boyfriend on the side. However, with all that being said, in August of 2022, her parents were flipping out when they realized that she hadn't come home that night. I mean, and this was not like her at all. They had a schedule. They knew where their daughter was at all times and she was nowhere to be found and they could not get a hold of her. The whole family in a panic and freaking out began to look for her. And as they looked and looked, this is when they came up on Sharaban's Mercedes Benz car parked in a parking lot by itself and they feared the worst. As they walked up to the car, they saw beautiful brown hair, and a lifeless body. Before we go any further, I did want to stop and thank today's sponsor, Liquid IV. Liquid IV is a great tasting electrolyte drink mix that will hydrate you two times faster and more efficiently than drinking water alone. Liquid IV has three times the electrolytes of traditional sports drinks, and they're made with clean ingredients and packed with five essential vitamins like B3, B5, B6, B12, and vitamin C. I have been drinking Liquid IV for quite a while now, long before I ever got to be a partner with them. And if you ever look in my bags, like my gym bag, my carry-on bag for my airplane, in the console of my car, you will see Liquid IV packets sprinkled everywhere. I love drinking Liquid IV and it is so vitally important to make sure that I stay hydrated and you stay hydrated. And you guys, spring is coming up it's getting hot outside we're gonna be outside right drinking our water going for walks getting sunshine and all of that is wonderful but we also have to make sure that we are staying hydrated and my favorite way to stay hydrated is by drinking liquid IV and if you want to try liquid IV all you got to do is click the link down in the description box and you can use my code Christina Randall and you will save 20% off and get free shipping today 
Thanks again, Liquid IV. Her parents, obviously devastated. I mean, screaming and just crying, freaking out. They called the authorities. Authorities came. They roped everything off and they began to investigate. And her parents went home and they are looking now at this point for the investigators to figure out what happened, who would want to hurt their daughter and why she was left there like this. I mean, they themselves are the ones that found her body or they thought it was her body. See, Shara Bon, who was living in Munich, did not want to be with her husband anymore. She didn't want to have to confront her parents about it or tell her parents. She wanted to be with this new guy. So she comes up with this plan. And the first step of the plan was to go online onto Instagram and find another woman that looked exactly like her. So she started setting up all these fake Instagram accounts and reaching out to women. She reached out to five different women who looked like her. And one of them that she eventually found's name was Khadija, a 23-year-old Albanian citizen who lived about 100 miles away. Now, Sharaban supposedly first reached out to her by claiming to be the rapper Loon and inviting her to star in an upcoming music video. Khadija was very suspicious, and so she sent a direct message to this rapper's DM. In the voice memo, she said, I hope you can see my message and answer me because I'm very, very unsure. It would be really cool if you could tell me if it's real or fake. Loon replied and said, it's fake sister, don't answer. Unfortunately, Sharaban tried again and this time convinced Khadija to meet her in another area with an offer for free beauty products. So now Khadija thinks she's going to meet another woman. She's going to get all these free beauty products and she's completely disarmed thinking she's speaking to a woman that's gonna give her free beauty products. However, when Sharaban pulled up to meet her, she wasn't alone, she was with her boyfriend, 24-year-old Shakir. They went and picked up Khadija and drove to a forest outside the city where she was stabbed more than 50 times, including all in her face. Now, when you see these two photos of these women put together, I mean, they look very similar. And then if you think if you take some sort of item and mess up the face heavily, I mean, it could, it could be misleading if you found this person in a car like this. However, when the investigators took the body, they did DNA testing, fingerprints, and they found, hold up, wait a minute, this body is not your daughter's because see, they couldn't tell because the face was so mutilated. And this is when they matched that body to Khadija's. Several knives were reportedly found nearby, but investigators said that they were not the ones that were used in the crime. A police spokesman said, the murder weapon has still not been found, but the burden of proof is overwhelming. The victim was killed with more than 50 stab wounds to her face and was badly injured. It was brutal, in the extreme. Sharaban allegedly made a point to disfigure Khadija's face with a knife to make it difficult for investigators and her family to make an identification. When asked about motive, the prosecutor's office said it can be assumed that Sharaban wanted to go into hiding due to internal family disputes and to fake her own death. Now, it did not take them long at all to put it together that it was Sharaban that did this to her, obviously, and they began to look for her. Now, the thing is, Sharaban was still in her hometown and she was seen on surveillance footage go into like a little convenience store. Look at, you can see this picture right here. She was just in there ordering pizza like it was just a regular Tuesday. The suspects are now expected to face a trial and be sent to prison for life if convicted. And the German press is calling this the doppelganger murder. So this is what I was asking y'all in the beginning. I hear this story and I cannot for the life of me understand what this woman thought was gonna happen. She really thought that all she had to do was just go and find a woman. I mean, you just think about the technological trail she left by making these different, you know, Instagram accounts, reaching out, telling her family, you know, where she was going to be at, but also meeting that girl in the exact same spot or fingerprinting or DNA. Like none of it makes any sense. None of it makes sense how she thought she was going to get away with this or even before the crime like this this is another we hear these stories all the time where you have like a married couple and they're going through troubled times and they're going to get a divorce but either the husband don't want to pay any money or the wife wants to get all the money because she's having an affair and so one of them takes the other one out because they think that that's the best answer which is get a divorce get a divorce it's gonna suck yes you're gonna go through some things but you're gonna be free and you're gonna have your integrity and you're gonna be able to sleep at night 
and you're not a crazy person. Like, I don't understand. And in this situation, like, okay, if she had these really strict parents, super religious strict parents, they're going to be mad at you. Okay, you're not going to be on the run from the police. You're not going to hurt somebody else's child, somebody's sister, somebody's, you know, granddaughter. Like, I don't, I, I, I don't know. Maybe y'all help me figure this out. What in the world would make this young woman do this? It, it makes no sense to me. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Other than that, I will see y'all in the next video. Thank y'all all for being here. I love you guys and I'll see y'all soon. Bye.